Hello, you guys. So in this video today, I'm gonna be testing, trying out and reviewing the new Ardell Seamless Under Lash Extensions, your little DIY at home extension kit. I have tried and tested out recently the Kiss Impress Lashes, love them. And I love the Kiss Falscara Lashes. I've been using them for months and months now and have repurchased them many times, but Ardell is trying to come for Kiss's bag, okay? I wanna see if Ardell can actually live up to the Kiss Falscara abilities. I get a six day wear out of those ones, even though it says 10 day wear on average, it's six days for me. And everything seems very similar, except with our Dell kit, it's $19.99 as opposed to $25. And you get a little bit more with the Ardell and you don't have to do this overnight thing that the Falscara one does. The Falscara, there's this daily thing that you do overnight every day to help strengthen the bond. This doesn't have anything that looks like that. So I think this is just a one and done, leave it, set it, forget it, all those things that we love in a lash because sometimes with the Falscara, I forget to do the overnighter. So that'll be nice if I can avoid that step. I got the Style Faux Mink. They do have the Wispies, which honestly I should have got. I don't know if I forgot to or didn't realize there was two different sets, but whatever, the Faux Mink, will just be a little bit more dramatic. I'm gonna show you guys how to apply these, I think. We're gonna hopefully, they'll be as easy as the false scare, I'm hoping. P.S. If you like videos like this, go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. That way you get notified when I post more videos. And let's dive into it, boo. Boop. The steps on these lashes seem pretty simple, pretty similar to the false scare sets, minus the overnighter serum, like I said. So you have your applicator that's included. You have the bonder, the sealer, and then also the remover for when you're done. I hate that they call these lashes their undies and it's trademark. So obviously they have other lash sets with that name. I, I don't like it. It's not for me. But anyways, comes with lots of different lash lengths in there for this faux mink style. So that's nice because sometimes you don't want them super long. You want to go with medium. So there's just different sizes for your liking. Now I'm going in with my eyes. I just have a little bit of eyeshadow on, you know, just to spice things up. But otherwise I have nothing on my lashes. They said that this Bondor works as your mascara as well. I get a lot of questions on, should I apply mascara for this? No, don't apply mascara if you're gonna be doing these under the lashes situations. It just gets goopy and weird if you try to do both. And then also I am gonna curl my lashes. So it's the only thing I'm gonna do ahead. So sometimes if I'm gonna be doing these for like, you know, a weekend trip or something, I do them the night before or right first thing in the morning before I even do my makeup and then do my makeup later. So you don't have to have your makeup done necessarily, but it is a little bit harder to go around, you know, your big long lashes if you're doing a full eyeshadow look. Just kind of play with it and decide for yourself what you like. Now, like I said, this kit includes the applicator, which is basically like your giant tweezers, but not pointy. I do recommend having a little hand mirror on, on hand just to help you kind of guide and lift. Yeah, same applicator size and everything on that little bond and it is two-sided just like the Falscara. If this goes well, I'll probably do like a side-by-side -side video or something comparing the two to help you decide. But right now I'm liking that. This is $5 cheaper. It says to apply the bonder to the base. Don't get it all the way up into your lashes, which I do find interesting because also says this acts as your mascara. I'm just gonna do it. I've learned from the falscara to kind of work in sections. So I'm just gonna do the first half of my lashes here. Oh, I hate when you try to peel off the lashes and they shed. <laughs> ah, this is pretty freaking long, man. Ah, oh no. Okay, it's very sticky. The bonder is very sticky. I want it to be sticky, but I don't want it to be so sticky that I can't like make sure it's in the proper place. Okay, that looks good. Too long for my liking, but it's fine. It is what it is. We're already in this together. Take more of the medium size one. Try to line it right up to the other one without spacing so that you don't see any gaps. And you also don't want it to be on the water line. So what I do, oh no, I ripped it off. This is very sticky. Very, very sticky. Okay. That's good. Too long, but let's just talk about the product. Don't worry about the style. Let me apply some bonder to the rest. And you do have to like kind of clean off the applicator in between each lash 
so that you don't have any sticky residue on it or else then it'll like catch and not want to come off the applicator, you know? Okay, now I want to put the smallest one on the inner corner. Well, there's a lot of different lengths in here. You got 10 millimeter, 12, 10 to 16. So there's four different size lengths in here. So that's kind of nice. Should have realized that before. So that's that side. I'm just making sure they're all in position. Looking good. And then it says, use the applicator to seal the lashes. That makes me nervous because sometimes lashes want to stick. Let's just test that out real quick. Like I understand the concept, like kind of like how impressed the press on lashes are. You want to seal it? Okay. Okay. Ooh, it's kind of sticking. Okay, kind of, kind of not. Just go gently. I wouldn't press too hard or else it'll really, it'll pull right off. I had to read that twice because I thought maybe they wanted you to apply the bonder again. No, it says to use this. So basically you would really use the curved part, but see it's wanting to like stick to the, okay, that's enough. <laughs> I don't want to rip it off and like have to start over. So that seems fine. Just some light, light little tapping. Don't press too hard. You're going to rip the lash off. And then we go on with the seal side of the little wandy wand and that removes all the tackiness so that your lower lashes can stop sticking together if you have that issue like I do. So that kind of seals it all. All right, there's those. Loving it, looks pretty just like the Falsqueras do. Let me time myself on the other side because when I'm not talking and you know, once I get the hang of it, I can uh, see how long it really takes. So ready, timer, oh, let's go. Boop. stop so four minutes and 30 seconds for that and it's about similar it's pretty much similar to the falscara i mean i got that one down but it's a little bit stickier okay two things two things to note a little bit stickier than falscara the falscara is a little bit more liquidy and then the lashes themselves are more delicate so that's really the only issue i had is pulling them off they just want to like fall apart that's dramatic not completely fall apart but like they don't want to stay together. No, there has this little, like one of the lashes was like, why does that look so tiny on my eye? Oh, because one of the strips, when I was just gently taking off, I used my fingers this time and it lost like a piece of the lash band. So just be more gentle with them. I don't, this foaming style, eh, like I don't, I think it's the length. Like it's too long where they just look more unnatural than the Falscara ones that I do. But the Falscara set that I love isn't even this one, is it? No, it is the lengthening style. Those are the ones that I prefer. They're just a little bit skinnier and they look really nice. I need to get a new set. I'm almost out. And I like that you don't have to do the overnighter stuff now. I like that because that's just a hassle. And I, like I said, I forget to use it. So that's what the lashes look like. You let me know down in the comments how you feel about these. Have you tried the Kiss Falscara yet? Do you think you would try this out? I wanna do a wear test but that can be up to 10 days, right? It could be as little as one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post this video for you guys so you can see what it's all about and if you wanna try it, and then I'll do an updated shorts video. That way you can see how long it actually lasted me. I'll do like updates throughout the week or however long it lasts, hopefully more than a day, and we can see how they compare to the length of time I get from Kiss Falscara, which is six days. Again, this says 10 days, so hopefully we'll make it all the way there, but I kind of get sick of them by the time six days rolls around anyways. I kind of always feel like I wanna take it off. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that shorts video, but if it is later on that you're watching this, I will have a pinned comment with a link to the shorts video so that way you can see the update right away. You don't have to go searching and scrounging around my channel. You're more than welcome to though. Like I said, I have a lot of lash videos if you wanna check out that, as well as other beauty videos and things and thank you so much for stopping by if you have any questions about this system leave them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it and I will see you guys in the next one okay bye